Hello and welcome back. What a difficult farm this was. A lot of these are all close range, like less than 10 meters, which is uh, not something I'm used to shooting. I prefer ones like this out in the open. What a fat little bugger this one was. Bit of a poor shot on this one. Managed to get him to give it another one. When I say it's uh, difficult shooting, it's because they're mainly um, pretty much close range stuff and a lot between the calves. So, obviously, with the calves being in the way, you've got to be very careful. And although you can't actually see on this video, it's actually pretty windy. This farm is right out on the coast. There's actually a lot of rats on this video I couldn't actually shoot. Obviously I've cropped them out, but as you can see, cows keep appearing. You think they can hide behind that nettle? Think again. This one came across his mate, jumped back, went around him and went on with his merry way. Mainly to his death. I actually shot five coming out of the hole. First time on this farm. Wasn't quite sure what was around. I really should have gone and looked at it in the daytime, but it's actually quite a trek. It's it's like about half hour drive from me. But it was well worth going out there. I did shoot actually uh, two or three baby ones like that one. So obviously they are breeding here. This wasn't a good time to run out of pellets. Luckily enough, the other one stayed there.
all these are free hand I had nothing to rest on here whatsoever so I was just resting me back against a bale and trying to hold steady Just resting upside of a steel girder here. More free and rats. As you can see there are calves everywhere. I don't think your mate wants to play, he's just playing dead. These are around about seven meters, and it's quite a bit of old over on these. It's not my style of shooting, but I uh, take what I can. Cow there, oblivious to what's going on. Probably three or four, maybe a few more that I didn't actually uh, press record on. Some of them just caught me by surprise, so just cracked on and shot them. This one I shot freehand as well. That's the last one of the evening and a very big one it was too. Um, I've still got another video coming up where I've shot a few pheasants and pigeons and partridges etc, a squirrel and I will get round to certain that one so thank you very much for watching, catch up with you soon.